Just another on-the-spot shot. Let's talk about the Great Resignation. The Great Resignation is an occurrence. This is how I see it. My definition is a, a recurrence of a perception of the enterprise and corporate types of them having a challenge with recruiting people. So let me try to put it into perspective. I think I've worked with different industries enough uh, to be able to make this type of content. So I've worked with different recruiters. There are recruiters from startups. There are recruiters from um, you know freelancers, and there are recruiters from corporate, right? And you would have these technical recruiters. They would have mass market and you know specialized um, recruiters, right? So basically, some of them would be hired to retire, and in some cases, let let's say for the for the smaller companies, they're actually like hired to retire. But as you go bigger, you would compartmentalize the functions for recruitment. I think one of the biggest things that is lacking in the narrative is that the Philippines is a closed economy. What do I mean by that? So initially the country was, you know, just focused on local industries, right? And these were monopolized and became part of the half of the Taipans of the, the brown rich. We call it oligarchs or the brown Taipans in the Philippines, right? And then eventually you would have this BPO formula. The BPO formula is you can now, as an external company, you can own part of it without having to do the, you know, half. So you would have more, and there are two segments then. There would be the, the, the traditional jobs, and then the BPO jobs, right? And then, when the freelancers came in, there's more free market, because there are three markets competing now. So when you say there is a... Um, Great resignation. That only applies to an external factor, right? I, I, I define it as that, the external factor where people try to outsource, but they're having to compete with the talent. And how that competition happens in the Philippines is very different. Because in the Philippines, we've been, been very protective of our oligarchs. They have to be richer to be compete with other com countries, right? And you know, you want to have a ruling class within your country that absolutely should be defended from external threats. And it's good that you have the, the Jollibee people that have went outside and the San Miguel's who have went outside and have started acquiring and they are now for, uh, are a force to be reckoned in the Philippines. But so whatever the case is, right? So this is the, the landfill. So when you're competing, um, I've had this experience where I remember there was this very, very big corporate, there's a very big, big four cor corporate company who tried to hire me. And I said, this is what you're going to get from my talent. Um, and what you're paying for is actually the opportunity cost of my time because I can produce this much money, right? And uh, what happened was there was a comp and band guy. So they have uh, talent acquisition, then there's the you know day one folks, and then of course the comp and band guy. Then go to the day one guy, but the comp and, get big, comp and band, competition benefit guy was trying to, how much should I offer this guy, right? So he needed a comparable to compare me with. The problem is his basis is very, very shallow. It has to be only for these corporate types. The thing is, if you're going to be working with somebody like me who sees the strategy overall, that judgment, that decision making is worth more than what he was offering me. And long story short, the managing director came back to me and uh, she, she told me like, oh, you know what? He got offended, right? And I said, I wasn't trying to be offensive. I told him the truth. But the truth was very salty for him being comp in men. And how this impacts the great resignation is because you would have TA, talent acquisition people, that have a very, very limited scope of who they should be hiring and what it looks like. So success in what talent looks like for them is very limited. Although this is known within the talent acquisition industry um, and HR industry, this is not actually addressed. So you can see this as an opportunity, right? And I was talking to my friends, hey, let's make a company out of this and try to exploit specifically this problem to make money out of it, right? I said, uh, we don't have enough money. Okay, so, well, I don't have enough watches to do with that. But if there was somebody who wanted to fund something like that, or even for the Project Press, right? I, I think this is something that we can address, but the winner will take it all. And if nobody tries to address it systematically, seeing that there are other talents that are being recruited and trained anyway. So what, what's so funny for me is that even if you did get the best talent, you force them to your culture. You, you try to push them into... But I remember one of the companies I was with, um, they started with like 7,000 in Ortigas, 7,000 heads. And now they're like, you know, uh, 50,000 more, 70,000. That's all in-house, right? And the way you think about it is 
one of the the anniversaries I attended, their 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 country president at that time sp said that the main driver for their growth was the accept acceptance of new culture. So if at any point in time I see any organization, any, any entity trying to be illiquid and sticking to something so hard, they get left behind. You will be left behind by you know, the K-12 shift, you will be left behind by the what you call the great resignation and you would be left behind with new and emerging trends and how people um, interact and how people get employed and how people think of contracts and how one-sided these are and how more fluid they should be. Now you can be the first one to step into this, uh, having the resource, but there will be a lot of challenges and failures and not a lot of people are willing to pay for those failures and learnings. I want to own it, but there is an opportunity there. Um, so that's just my thoughts on the great resignation. If you are TA, I would love to know your thoughts. If you have been in recruitment, I definitely want to hear what you think about it, okay?